Welcome, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm the lovely Mocha Mika. Yes, don't get my glasses right. I'm the lovely Mocha Mika. I'm back with another video, y'all. And so it's been a while since I did um seafood boil. So today it's gonna be a seafood boil. And the thing is I'm at work. Let me cover my little name on my or oh, as this is my second job. I know. That's crazy. The economy. Have us out here busting our butts. So, I have a delicious seafood boil, homemade seafood boil at some home, homemade. And oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I couldn't wait to go in. I was like, I'm eating myself, I'm taking it to work. I didn't have time once I got done <laughs> making it. I didn't have time to really like eat it, you know, there at home. So I take with me for my lunch. Eating my um seafood boil. Hold up, y'all. My lips is so fucking dry. This time of the year, and you know, our skin is extra, extra dry. Oh, goodness. Lips is dry. Should I take these glasses off? No. Because the reflection be messing with me. The glare or whatever from the light. And I only got a little bit of light left, so I got to hurry up. It's about six something in the afternoon. Ugh. Hold it. Ugh, make sure I grab plenty of napkins. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm about to do this in this car. Oh my God, I'm trying to do my goodness, do my best to try to not make a big mess because I'm clumsy. Those who knows know. Those who know know. But okay, yeah. This is the seafood boil, y'all. Homemade. Yeah, I got the sauce in there because. You know, I ain't got time to be having something to dip and all that stuff, too. Got some corn, as you see. Snow crab, sausage, um, some shrimp, and a couple of eggs in there. And potatoes, of course. Whew, I'm so hungry. I don't know where to start. This is where I start. Yeah. Let's go. Amen. Lord, first. What's up, y'all? How y'all been? I know it's been a while since I got to talk to y'all. That's the potato. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I made the sauce so good. It's like a... Mm. Oh, I want to show y'all, but I don't get without dripping all over the place. Look at that shrimp. Mm. Mm. I love this block. Suck the juice off. Them. That's why I leave the skin on. <laughs> I know it's more work, but then I dip it again because the skin. You know, the shell and kind of, oh shit, and I was trying to avoid that. See, this is why I did not want to come to work eating this, but I, I just had a taste for it, man. I just had to eat it. I'm like, I want a seafood boil. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That sausage is really good. Oh, these glasses. I know, y'all. I'm so embarrassed that I still haven't gotten my glasses. No new glasses yet. 
Mm. I'm going to set up a nice good bite. It's a sweet corn. <clears throat> mm. A little spice to it, like I like. That's a sweet corn. Mm. So the saltiness, you know, from the sauce and the sweetness from the corn, from potato and. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know if I'm good. <laughs> Talk to y'all and eat this. Cause, mm, right. It's so hard. I still even get to the stove crap. Mmm. Mm. I feel it's so good. Oh my god. Mm. Is that a shell? Mm. Get an egg. Lift it. Oh. I'm gonna tell you. This potato is so good because you know how it, you know, sauce up, su sucks up the sauce so well. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can't even try to get too many bites because it's going to be all over the place. Mm. crack some of this crab. Mm. I'm not doing too bad on my shirt other than that. Mm. Why did I leave my jacket on? That's kind of covering the name of my <laughs> talking job. I mean, not that none of y'all really care. I'm not that big for nobody want to do nothing crazy and stalk me at my job. But you just never know. Y'all just don't need to be in my basement. Like that. <sighs> At least now. This is so ratchet that I'm sitting here eating in a seafood boil in the car. In the car at work. Oh, darn for well. I'm going to see this stuff in. Ain't got no... Bib or nothing. All right, Tamika. Come on. All right. Let me just show y'all some of that sauce. This is why I like to do them in the rings so you can kind of swoop it up like that. <laughs> Doing this for y'all, y'all. <laughs> Risking the messiness for y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. I don't feel like doing all the extra. Why is this like? It's so hard. Hard, yeah. It's like really hard. Oh, I'm about to tell you, show y'all the pool. And there's all this white stuff on it. And I ain't got no bag to put my shells in. I've been just unprepared 
Russian. This is so ratchet and ghetto. I do not recommend doing this. <laughs> Taking a seafood boil to work and eating it in your car. At that. If I was in the building. But I don't want to come in there ooh, with all this. And ain't got enough and ain't got enough to share really, you know, with everybody. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so good. Knock my glasses crooked. Mm -mm. So messy. But so good. I'm so sorry. Homemade sauce. That's a little um, bit of um, butter, water, because I didn't have any um, chicken broth. And I don't like to put too much butter, like have it just straight butter. Because you know, butter ain't the best for us. Ain't the healthiest for us. But. But, um. I want the meat out of every little nook and cranny. <laughs> mm. Oh. I'm sorry, y'all. This is the string. I didn't like the way that felt. Ugh, goodness. Ooh, so y'all, what's been up with me? Oh. About to start up my um other channel. Start showing y'all more of my um new home and how I'm going to be doing a lot of because I'm gonna be doing a lot of um uh, DIYs, a lot of DIY projects, a lot of um showing a lot of me and my journey just my journey just in life of just healing from a you know toxic very toxic i'm be doing series another way for me to you know move on and heal is to like vent about it i want to do like some story time i want to do like a little series thing where we're um talking about um what it is I'm trying to heal from and why I'm trying to heal. And, you know, it was from, you know, my toxic past relationship, my ex. And, you know, you know, we, you were young. Well, I was young. Oh, we were both were young at times or whatever. And, um, you know, it was just a, a um, experience that I went through, a very hard and troubling experience that me and my children as well had to go through that. Um, but um, just to show how you can go through the storm and be able to weather it as long as you push through and stay strong and believe in, continue to believe in yourself, even when times when you fall short on believing yourself, pick it back up at some point. Don't just fall completely into just like, I'm never going to be anything and that's just what it is type thing. Have faith in yourself, believe in yourself, and, you know, keep pushing forward. And I just want to show my story and tell my story so that I can, my testimony, just basically give my testimony as to why, I'm, and I'm not completely healed yet. I'm still, you know, working on things to help me get through this healing journey because this stuff, the latest, you know, has been from not too long ago up to 20 years. Actually, 20 plus years, 24 years mm. that I was in this relationship. And, you know, head over heels in love with somebody who just wasn't quite that way for me. Come to find out. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, that's going to be a series. Baby daddy series is what I'm calling it. Because, <laughs> yes, it was my baby daddy. My latest baby daddy, let me be correct, because I do have two baby daddies. Ooh. Ooh. What is that? I don't know what the little stringy stuff is. Like, what the heck is stringy in here? Oh, look at that. 
what I did was like pan fried, pan cheered, you know, the shrimp before putting it in there. Mm. That's what it was. <laughs> the onions. Pieces of onions. Hello. Man, um, yeah, so that other channel is going to be about a lot of that stuff. You know, like I said, DIYs as far as in vlogs and, um, just my life experiences, whatever we do in regular life outside of mukbanging and eating. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> my life ain't all crazy exciting like there's so many things. But I do want to share my journey. And basically I tell y'all where I came from as far as the struggle in life and where I was mentally and we didn't want to be here. I wanted to off myself and all that stuff. And until to now to see how you know I want to be able to hopefully motivate and pray um to to release you know things off of my chest like a virtual type of diary type thing, video diary type thing. As well as hopefully within that help have somebody that can relate and might might be going through something. Because there was a lot of times that I watched a lot of um YouTube YouTubers videos and stuff and things that they were going through and their stories and their testimonies and stuff. And it, it did help motivate me to feel like, you know, they can do it, I can do it. You know, I have the power, I have the strength to do it within myself too. I just gotta push and you know, give me that that little oomph you need sometimes to just keep going, keep pushing. Mm. I'm definitely going to have to wipe this car down when I get down. Oh, juice is flying everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. I want to turn towards y'all more. But I can't. And there's wheels in the way with this pan. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah. I'm gonna shave the side of my head, y'all. I'm turning 47. I ain't scared to say it. And I don't know. I just needed something different. It's part of my new chapter in life. I wanted a new look. Something that I wanted to keep my locks, of course. But also have something. A new look. I don't know. Something that I never did before. I am definitely never shaved my side of my hair. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what I give a talk in my mouth for. Definitely never checked, saved, shaved the side of side of my head before. So I just drifting stuff on my leg. Mm. Why didn't I have like a? I should have brought a big bag, you know, plastic bag with me. Goodness, to put underneath. I'm getting sauce and stuff everywhere. Oh, my pants. Good thing I got on black pants, but look at this damn shirt. Should I close my coat? So, at least. <laughs> and because it's a black coat, this can, you know, be washed. It won't look so greasy while I'm at work. And this is something I'm going to be taking off while I'm working, you know, once I get in there. So, I'm use this as a shield. Wish I would have thought of it the first time. Why'd y'all? Why'd y'all tell me? To just zip my back it up. But yeah, so get my sad shaved off. It's the whole back. I, I will have to show y'all in another. I show the whole thing in another video. But oh my goodness. <laughs> Tastes good too. I can't believe I'm sitting here eating this messy mess in this car. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad though. 
I mean, I'm still being messy. Some kind of little onion and a sausage to go with it. Ugh, there's my bite. Can't bring it too close to y'all, sorry. Mm. Potatoes taste so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Big old mess. <laughs> so, yeah, girl. <clears throat> Been just, you know, fingering. My juice is just so good. I just wanted to drink it. You know, they know how to work somebody. You know, they everybody know how to work somebody when they know they, that they got them pretty much wrapped around their finger. I ain't gonna say got them wrapped around the finger because don't have me like that anymore. But thank goodness I got a place where you know I'm separate from her. I'm my own place. I always had my own, but well, except for last year. But um, you know. So I'm loving having my own space or whatever. But in any case, I don't want to keep talking about ooh, him because I'm, you know, I'm gonna talk about him, you know, in the series and all that stuff and everything that's, you know, time things that went on, different story times that was very detrimental and hurtful to me and our relationship. But in any case, but this one, y'all, I just want to talk to y'all about. I'm excited about my DIY. I got some new DIY projects I'm doing, like. I'm going to be posting on my other channel. What? It's basically about my journey. I'm going to be showing my workout journey. Because, yes, I definitely got to um do some weight. Mm. Basically, my gut. You know what I'm saying? Thank goodness I'm not, like, crazy overweight. But, yeah, in some areas... I'm just not happy with, you know, completely with how my body, you know what I'm saying? Not that my body is real bad or nothing like that. It's just that gut area, you know, when you don't have kids and when you get older, it gets a little harder, harder to lose that gut area. You know, I want, I want to get back that. I want to be fly as fuck in my fifties. I want to be fly. So I'm 47, just turned 47. I want to be fit, fitter than I ever been. In my 50s. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like. I'm ready for my new. Like I'm ready for my new journey. You know what I'm saying? Not for it to be the end of my journey. You know what I'm saying? This is a new. This is another chapter. It's a new journey. New part of my journey. And a part that I've never experienced before. And once again, it's about experiencing things I never experienced before. Before I go. And one of them things is being ex extremely fit. Not extremely. I ain't saying I'm turned to a big old muscle person. <laughs> but. Being more fit, I want to have my flat stomach, my abs again, you know, my nice tight legs and arms, and I just want to be fit again. Before, I was just skinny, <laughs> so it's like, it wasn't never fit, you're just skinny, but oh, look at that bite. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just fit and healthy. I'm ready to take on my life. Have fun in life. I want to travel places I've never been before. Take y'all with me, of course. And take my kids to places they never been before. And I want us to experience places together that we've never been before. Even though most of my kids are grown. Except for one, which will be, you know, a young adult in a few months. She'll be 18, my youngest. And, you know, it's time for me to live my life and, you know, explore things that I've always wanted to explore and couldn't do it because I was a young mom, you know. That spice. Hit the back of your throat. Ooh. And I got a damn slushy. <clears throat> it was a 
enough to get <coughs> get back. <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> That spice in the back of the throat. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. <clears throat> Damn, I still can feel it. Mm. <clears throat> it's supposed to be my sp <laughs> spoon for my slushy. Mm. Those who don't know, <clears throat> I'm an ice lover. Love it. And the best type of ice to eat is the crushed ice. Slash, soft, crushed ice. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I know what it is. Well, I know what it is. <clears throat> Got an idea what it is. <clears throat> I read that <laughs> people who have mm, like my throat is just burning. People who have ice, <clears throat> it's like there's something stuck there, <clears throat> and whatever stuck there is burning. Whew. People who have ice addictions. I have low iron, which I do have low iron. I'm anemic, so I can see it. Mm. Mm -mm. Whew, I gotta get that in back. <clears throat> Had to get that burn whenever it was in the back of my throat burning. I'm sorry. Whew. Anybody who like ice like me, take your bite. Look at that good slushy, perfectly soft and squishy ice that you can just chew on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Or you can just suck one and melt right in your mouth. Oh my gosh. Mm, mm, mm. I love ice, y'all. <laughs> Excuse my hair. I had them in some um, <clears throat> pipe cleaner curl. They've fallen down now. So they're all over the place. All right, I got to hurry up. It's been 29 minutes, meaning my break is about over. So, ooh, I'm going to take another bite pretty good who that corn almost took me out being, being greedy tearing it up way more than i needed to <clears throat> once some more but it's like i gotta take a minute to let that <clears throat> i'm scared to get that spice burning back in the back of my throat again <clears throat> something must have got stuck there and it was just burning for a minute. Like when I breathe, it was burning. <sighs> it's a little better now when I eat the ice, but goodness. I'm scared to take another bite, but I want to take another bite because I'm hungry. <clears throat> okay. Sausage. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Comment down below. What y'all think about this Diddy stuff? I know y'all tired of hearing about it. So am I. But it's here. 
Do y'all think he's gonna? How much time do y'all think he's gonna get? Do y'all think he's gonna get any time at all? Like other than the time he's getting as far as waiting for the trial. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised that um they even denied the bail. You know, he goes talk to money. When money talks with them. So I just knew that he was gonna be able to pay off whoever. And get out. But <laughs> I ain't paying with Diddy. I said, I don't care how much money you got. You still a certain color. Because I know there's a lot of clear people behind this or that was uh, bigger ups that was partaking, participating, partaking, condoning, um, all that stuff. And they don't want to get caught. And they ain't going to get caught. They want to make sure he go down for real. I guess he get the singing. Comment down below if you think he's going to be singing shortly. If he didn't already start snitching on people. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I can already get my butt in him. Do it, y'all. That's so good. It's sauce, man. I put it there. Make a good sauce. You're in. Ugh. I should have did these shell, but I ain't had time for that. So I have to get to work. All right, guys. Speaking of work, break is long enough. Got to get back to work. Thank y'all for joining me for the little quick little mukbang. And hopefully you can subscribe to my channel, this channel too, if you if you enjoyed the channel, if you enjoyed the little mukbang, and um, subscribe to my new channel coming up, vlog channel, however you want to say it. For those, you know, when you want to see, if you want to learn a little bit more about me outside of eating, and you know a little bit about my journey and all that stuff, please come over to the other channel. At I'm gonna put the name <laughs> right here. Somewhere on the um, screen of the channel. Because I, cause I kept playing around with it. I forgot what I finally finalized on. And please, come over and join me. Get to know me. I can get to know you. We can become supporters of each other. We can, you know, learn from each other. We can grow with each other. And have a good time. Have fun, you know. Share tips. All those good things. And projects. And, you know, if you're a person that like to do DIY projects, please definitely you'll love it because we're definitely gonna get into some real projects like redoing my living room because y'all know if y'all didn't know about a almost a year ago last december i just purchased my first home and you know so i'm working on you know finalizing it you know getting the final decorations and reduct making it home i mean it's already comfortable like home but i'm really i really want to really really do some things like change it up and do some, you know, really do some real de decorating with the rooms and stuff. And I like to do some things that I want to, that I feel good, that I know that I made personally myself. You know, I want to do, that's why I'm going to be doing a lot of DIY. Because it's, you know, it's my home and I want to put my hard work into it. And make it my own, completely, me and my family. So, yeah, thank y'all for joining with me. Until next time, and I'm also going to be doing some more mukbangs please like the video please subscribe <clears throat> i'm trying to grow y'all please help me grow please help me um get up there at least to i'm trying to get to at least a thousand i'm just you know i i gotta reach a thousand first so i can be able to go live with you guys and we can like really really you know chop it up and really get to know each other really you know have fun with it so please guys please help me grow please subscribe please hit the like button and please share the video and until next time, I love you guys. Because if you don't love yourself, how can anyone else? Till next time, guys. Deuces. <laughs>